AI is having a major impact across all industries. As someone that has been working on this field for over a decade, I will share with you my highly unlikely predictions about the job market in the face of artificial intelligence. Hey guys, I'm Kevin Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. Whenever someone discovers that I work in AI, they always ask me like, how is it going to change my job offers or my job position in the future now that we have all of this exponential impact of AI, people get worried about you know losing their jobs, uh, etc. The other day I was in a restaurant and this person was super worried about potential job uh, losses. So far, you know, we have seen a lot of these kind of transitions on, on, on the industry. Whenever there is a new invention, we see certain jobs migrating or being lost but migrating to a, to a new positions and in the end most technologies end up creating more jobs than the ones they displace. In general, if you think about apps or you know machines such as these point of sale systems that you see on McDonald's or whatever, you know they are basically replacing jobs. But these jobs are being created in a different location. The main issue now that I see with AI is that it, this kind of impact is being very horizontal on the type of industries that is touching. And so th this is why it makes this exercise more interesting of understanding what is the potential long-term impact of AI. Of course, I think this will, most likely this will be unprecedented or, or will be close to the, to the industrial revolution. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. So in this video, I will show you, I wrote my short, mid and long-term predictions for how the job market will be impacted by AI. Okay, in this case, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about like very long-term predictions, like 20 years uh, at least. And as I said on my video, long versus short-term predictions, as we get longer prediction windows, we lose accuracy, okay? So I expect to be very wrong on these predictions, but as you start thinking about the long-term future, you gain actionability. And in this case, actionability is for you that you are watching this video to think how you should change your skill set to face the, the, the new market transitions that we will face in the next few years. So let me embark in this exercise of being extremely wrong, okay, of making a lot of mistakes on my predictions. These predictions most likely won't happen and 20 years from now you will tell me how off I was on my predictions. Maybe already in six months or two years you will tell me, you know, Calvin, you missed by a lot uh, your predictions, it didn't make sense. I hope that's the case because it will be a very interesting thing to, to observe. So let me start with short-term predictions, and by short-term, I mean about two years. I believe that people will start using AI as a daily tool. We are already seeing that. You don't need to be a very smart person to predict that that will happen. And companies will take initiatives that were out of reach at this point. As for example, we mentioned about ourselves creating our Twitter account based on automated transcriptions or repurposing using ChatGPT from these videos. Okay, so companies will start embracing initiative, digital marketing, etc. that maybe so far they haven't tackled uh, at this point. So this will lower the entry barrier for companies tackling certain areas without requiring human uh, expertise. So it will kill uh, those jobs in the short term that focus on very technical aspects of those tasks. Basically on putting your, the ideas that somebody else produced on a keyboard. This, this is the kind of jobs that will be impacted uh, quite soon. So instead of placing yourself or, or having a focus on type of on tasks that are mainly technical, manual, mechanical, try to place yourself as a person that can define the strategy of how these companies will use these kind of technologies or the strategy of how your companies can embrace whatever you do in a more in, in a very efficient manner. So redefine your expertise in terms of being an advisor or a strategist and not so much on doing the dirty work of typing on a keyboard the next marketing campaign or being a copywriter in terms of just writing the content. Think about all of these uh, strategies. So as a person, I challenge you to stop being a commodity that handles just manual tasks that somebody else think about and to become a trusted partner at your job, as someone that has a strong opinions about your industry and that can shape the way companies are using or are facing that industry. Okay, so, and by the way, if you want to look for a trusted advisor in AI, here we are, Neil AI. We will have the link with the contact uh, in, in the description below. Okay, now let's go for midterm. Okay, in midterm, things become more interesting. I believe AI will become the Excel of accountants. So what Excel did to accountants, uh, it will happen on AI across all professions, okay? In about five years, uh, maybe less. Mainly on professions that require a lot of text interactions, such as marketing, copywriting, etc. But I believe that across all professions, it will be like a tool people will have to learn regardless of where, where they work. It will be like learning English or learning Excel 
or learning how to use a computer, you will have to learn how to interact with an AI. Most likely it will be already on school programs, okay? If a school stops being so stubborn that do not adapt their programs, I believe AI will start being part of a curriculum on, on schools, maybe even on elementary schools. So you will need to know how to interact with AI. Um, a big part of your day will be interacting with AI in a sense that AI, especially generative AI nowadays, is more of a way of interacting with computers in a higher level of semantics in terms of language. Okay, so you don't have to code anymore. Now you don't have to use a user interface, okay, a graphical user interface. At this point, you can talk with the computer and you will need to know how to talk this kind of language of AI, okay? This from an individual point of view of you as an employee, you know, being boosted on productivity using AI, for companies, I believe customers will demand that their services are provided at a level that cannot be provided by an individual human without an AI. So customers will get used to a certain efficiency on the way services are, are delivered that as a de facto assumption, you will have to use AI if you are building a company in, the, in, the, in about five years. At that time, I believe you will also forget that this was a hype and it will be just a daily reality for all of us, okay? Now let's talk about the long-term predictions and these, I believe, are the ones that I will be the most uh, wrong, okay? I believe most likely this won't happen, but if I had to bet any scenario, this is the scenario I would like to think that will happen, okay? This is a scenario where, where AI will replace most jobs, okay? At some point, at some point of this journey of 20 years, AI will replace most jobs. We will have tons and tons of unemployed people, okay? So it sounds like a sad story, but I promise you it will have a happy ending. But this increase on unemployment comes with this, at the same time with an exponential increase on productivity. So we will have an exponential throughput, an exponential outcome on our companies, which will lead to an increase, a heavy increase on supply of most products that you know nowadays involve a lot of human labor. So we will have unemployment because we will, with a lower or even without any human, we will reach outstanding uh, levels of productivity in many industries and this will lead to a higher supply, okay? It still sounds like a sad story because we, you know, unemployment will be high, like skyrocket high. So we have never seen this kind of this level of unemployment, which will also make demand to fall, okay? So people won't have money to pay for these products, so demand will fall dramatically. So if you adopt an exponential increase on supply, okay? If you consider that people is un are unemployed, so demand drops, prices will also drop dramatically for many products that we buy nowadays and from products that we haven't imagined yet, which will make the cost of production or the cost of delivering these products like extremely cheap. So yes, you won't have a job at some point, but products will also be super affordable if we reach this level of exponential production, okay? And here is, you know, the plot twist of the story that makes this story a good story, I believe, or a, story, or, or a type of world where I like to live which is, you know, if you have this massive un unemployment together with tools that enable you to build digital companies without being a programming expert, without being a marketeer, without being a financial expert, this basically means that we can live on a world of entrepreneurs, where people focus on identifying problems and finding creative ways of solving those problems, where people can build companies without a lot of capital, where people can build companies that are elastic and scale in the, as long as they are good at solving those problems. We will live in a world where people is creative on ways to solve problems individually. So we will live in a world of solopreneurs or small groups of entrepreneurs where people, instead of having a static job that is doing you know, the same thing every day after day, people will mainly focus on what is the next problem I want to solve. That's the, the happy ending of this story, I hope. I'm not sure if I hope that this happened because there is a lot of pain in between, but if, if it does happen, I do see people being more fulfilled by this process of finding problems to solve and solving them and building thriving companies and successful companies with very low effort, you know, just by thinking and, and passing their time uh, and spending their time thinking on, on good ways of solving new problems. So as a conclusion, if this strategy, you know, if it gets to be true or not, whatever you are doing now, whatever you are doing today, tomorrow, wherever you have to do at your job, 
I guarantee you, you won't be doing it in 20 years. Whether it's because AI changed your life, whether it's because a new technology changed your life. So embrace change, that's the first thing. You need to make, you need to understand that you won't be doing the same things for all your life and you need to be able to adapt your skill sets, your knowledge to, to face this reality. So if AI is a technology that replaces your job, make sure you are good at problem solving, okay? Make sure you have a methodical approach to identify opportunities, to identify ways of solving it and to execute them more than a person that is doing a repetitive task every day. Okay, if you follow this advice, regardless of my predictions being wrong or being super accurate, you will become a better professional. I can guarantee you that, okay? I hope you like this video. See you soon. Bye-bye.